Welcome back. Well, Dino Lally is taking us all over Oklahoma, and we're going to find out where we're going this time. Dino, welcome back. Good to be here. We have a truck full of ranch dressing out there. That's how we're going to explore Oklahoma now with ranch dressing awesome. on the side. Okay, you guys chat. I'll be back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. We're going to have a sidecar of ranch dressing. The first place we're going to go today is actually Turner Falls Park uh, in the Arbuckle Mountains. I mean, it's uh, there's 1,500 acres of this natural beauty. Uh, the uh, Turner Falls has been called the gem of the Arbuckles, and the uh, uh, the crown jewel, so to speak, has to be the 77-foot waterfall, which you saw there just for a second. It's, uh, they have five miles of hiking trails. This is just a, a great place to take the family for a weekend. You can have, uh, there's camping, uh, picnic areas to explore. They actually have three caves that you can go explore as well. There's uh, natural swimming areas attached to the waterfalls itself, and there's slides and diving boards. and It's just a great place to, to go. Uh, Turner Falls, by the way, is Oklahoma's oldest park. And it draws about 225,000 visitors a year. Wow. So um, uh, when you get there, you may have to wait in line just a little bit to get get into the park. But once you do, it's just uh, it's a great place to go. And since we still uh, summer weather is hanging on a little bit mm -hmm. longer, go go head down this weekend. That's what's yeah. great. Well, Oklahoma, you, ha you actually have a long, big gap where you can oh, go yeah. to places like that. In fact, and most so of the year. And most of the year, actually, yeah. <laughs> Another great place uh, over by Lawton, of course, is the Wichita Mountains Wildlife Refuge. There's 60,000 acres there, and it's one of those places where you can spend a couple of days there easily. Uh, you can go through the park. Uh, there's uh, elk and deer and bison and Texas longhorn cattle and birds and mammals. It's like this giant outdoor uh, playground. Now, a portion of the refuge is actually sanctuary, so uh, you can go there early in the morning and see uh, this bison. It literally was just right off the road. We stopped wow. and, and pulled over to get to get some shots of it. Are these turkeys? There are turkeys, absolutely. Wow. Yeah, uh, they also have. Uh, uh, there's 20 hiking trails there as as well. It makes for some great hiking. There's rock climbing. Rappelling has become more and more popular, yeah. as has uh, mountain biking. Has become very popular. Uh, that's me going over the thing very slowly there. Uh, and, uh, is that and, you too? Uh, no, well, I was actually on top of uh, the, Mount Scott. Is also another beautiful area. If you've never been on top of Mount Scott, you you have to go. Yeah. It's just a gorgeous view. Mm -hmm. It's very peaceful. You can actually climb on some of the rocks once you get up there too. So uh, the Wichita, Wild, uh, Wichita Mountains Wildlife Refuge is uh, is one of those uh, gems that Oklahoma can. Can attest to say, hey, well, this is here. Come and visit. And again, this can be easily a couple of days exploring. Yeah, absolutely. And finally, the Sputter in Tulsa. The Sputter in Tulsa. It's a Tulsa landmark. It's been there, yeah. I believe, for 40 years. Uh, you know, Oklahoma is known for you know oil and gas business and known for its steaks. Well, this place kind of combines the two of them. Uh, actually, it's uh, they also have lobster and pork chops and chicken, but they're a staple. They're known for their uh, their steaks. Um, it started out as an oil and gas museum slash restaurant, and now it's this good old-fashioned steakhouse is what it is. Uh, and the sputter, by the way, comes from the the name. There's a cable tool oil rig out front that's called the sputter. So that's uh -huh. where they got the the oh, okay. name. Here, uh, here I yes, thought it was like baked potato. You can actually like get potatoes <laughs> while you're there. Okay, yeah. Uh, but no, you, it's, you can actually get a little taste of Tulsa history there. And uh, they also have about a thousand pieces of memorabilia. So it's one of those places where you can not only have this great food, but you can just kind of look at, uh, uh, explore an area that, that uh, most of us may not be familiar. Uh, you know, the oil and gas. I have friends in oil and gas. I just don't know that much about yeah. it. Mm -hmm. uh, so a little trip to Tulsa, you can have a have a great steak. Is it and one I, of those places like Cattleman's here, where you got to know when to get there? That you expect lines sometimes? Uh, I, I think so. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but they they when I uh, they can get you in pretty quickly. And uh, I mean, they they kind of got it down to signs like cattlemen's. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, they they know how to serve people. They serve the great food. They get you in, get you out yeah. uh, to get the next people. Okay. So, but while you're out and about, you go to travelok.com. This is free. Just click on where it says request free brochures. This is our uh, travel guide. Keep this in your car, and you can go exploring Oklahoma. Uh, at, at your whim, and just have a great time. Find places to eat as well. Places so, that serve ranch dressing. That's right. just, and I'll, just you beat me to it. It's like, and there's a se special section we're going to put in next year for you that says, and ranch dressing served with. Yes. All these different. If you need so, anyone to rate ranch dressing for you guys, you just let us know. We'd be happy to hear. I will, I will be speed dialing tester. your number. Well, absolutely. Taste test. Good. That's right. Dina, thanks. Thank you. Always appreciate it. Good to be here. So coming up, our pet of the week is here. You're not going to miss this little cutie. It's next.